Hello everyone. So today the topic is the Windows Phone 7 Maps application because I just want to touch on a interesting subject here. Now this here is the Windows Phone 7 Map Apps application. Now it's powered by Bing Maps obviously and if we look at it, it actually has a quite a good nicely detailed Malaysian map now it's not the barren wasteland that it used to be so you can see we have a lot of the, the state locations and the interesting thing is it actually has a lot of it actually has road information so let me just hold it so it actually knows about street information And since this is EPO, I actually don't know if it's correct or not, but well, there's something, okay. Let's see. Okay, now you might be wondering one thing is that if we have all this street information, notice that there's no routing command. Now, this is one of the interesting things that you need to remember to have to set if you need to use a feature of the phone because if by default if your Windows Live account is not in any of the supported regions you don't get to use the routing capabilities so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the uh, how to turn on the, those routing features and this is well something that someone else have already discovered in various other websites so just go to settings find your region region and language now here's the important thing from region switch it to something like UK or US remember to switch all three of these So I'm gonna switch all these. So now, so it's browser and search language, system locale, and region format. Display language I don't think is that important. So when you set once you set all that, just press the button to restart the phone. Okay, so now after restarting the phone and we're back in the maps application. Now, the interesting thing to note is that after we've changed the region to a supported country, notice that there's an extra new button on the toolbar now. And this button is for directions. So how do we get directions? It's actually very easy. So I'm in Yipo now, I'm moving Yipo. And obviously my... And I'm going to just find a place. Hell, let's just... Okay, so, well, in the database, the road name for this one is called Major Road. That's interesting. Uh, okay, let's give it a try. So I'm going to start routing. Press the direction button. Now, it can only route from your start, from your current location to the location that you selected on the map. Uh, Maybe it's just to make it simple, I don't know, but uh, that's the way it is. So I'm going to say start routing. Now, excuse me while it, I scroll away where my current location is. Okay. So this is the route that Bing Maps has came up with. So you can see that it's going from somewhere up the... Plus highway and it then hits into uh, Yipo, Yipo town. Now you can see it going in. So as you can see, it can actually do routing pretty well, but the problem here is that that uh, oh 
No, so as you can see, you can actually do routing very well, but there is one slight little problem. I mean, come on, it has the the map system has properly routed a route from Kuala Lumpur to Ipoh, so that's gotta come for something. But there is one interesting problem that we have. Now you would think that let me just clear this. You would think that because the the database for all the street names are already in that we would be able to search for street names. So okay, here's Jalan Pasir, here's Jalan Pasir Pinji. Uh so I'm gonna just do a search. Jalan let's type in exactly Jalan Pasir Pinji. I think it's is it in Kampa? Or is it Kinta? Kamp no, I think it's Kampung Jalan Pasir Pinji. Oh, I can just click on it. So Jalan Pasir Pinji, Kampung Pasir Pinji Baru Perak. So that's the full name of the location. So let's try a few things. First of all, I'm going to just search for Jalan Pasir Oh look, intelligence is nice and to pop up for me. We just search for Jalan Pasir Pinji. And let's see what comes up. So it says that there's no results found. So let's go ahead with the suggestion that they gave. And it also can't find anything. So this is actually quite interesting. So let's pick another road. So this 13 Lengkok Kampa. So let's key in. One, three. And it took us to UK as I expected something will happen. Oops. Should I have backed out from there? I thought I was scrolling away. Great, now we're in London. Okay, let's go back. So as you can see, the one of the main issues that, that the maps have now is that even though routing seems to be working properly and even though Bing seems to have a proper database of the our Malaysian street names we can't search for any location yet the the search system for location seems to be very messed up because even given that we have a proper street it has all the street names but when we try and search for it So this is actually a history of all the, the, the street names I've clicked just now, so that's why it came out. So even though we're using something that's a search history, there are no results that will come back. So the end result, the summary of all this is that while if you know where your destination is and you can find it on the map, so like you know that okay this is where I want to go and then you can click on the directions and then get it to route from your current location to the point of the map you can't actually use the included maps program on the Windows Phone 7 for actual sense of let's say helping you find some place you want in Malaysia so can it fully replace a GPS unit? Uh, Probably not. There's no voice navigation. Can it help you find uh, directions to go to a place that you know where it is, but you just don't know how to drive there? 
Yes, it's usable after all routing works. But uh, like I said, as a navigation aid, probably doesn't work too well. Let's hope either Microsoft decides to update the database or well, we get Google Maps on Windows Phone 7. Okay, that's it for me today. See you guys around.